All right, everyone. So, uh, first of all, I want to apologize. Uh, seems like that's all I'm doing now in each of these videos. But this this wasn't like a total accident or anything like that. Um, basically, by the time I was going to make a video, uh, I got sick. That was almost two weeks ago. So uh, yeah, it's, it literally took me that long uh, to get mostly better. I'm not I'm not all the way better. But I'm well enough to make a quick video about this particular topic. And that has to do with the Wii U. Um, the last couple days, I decided to use a different storage device for the Wii U. Because lately, I've been getting a lot of lockups and just weird glitches going on with the Wii U. And I think it had to do with the thumb drive I was using. Uh, keep in mind, if you do use a thumb drive for the Wii U or just as a storage device for any of the consoles, um, keep in mind those thumb drives only have a certain amount of read-write cycles. So, being that these consoles, even the Wii U, are really designed to essentially stay connected online 24-7. I mean, you know, look, look at the Wii U right now. See that... Uh, well, it looks yellow on the camera, but it's actually orange. It basically means the Wii U is on standby, uh, connected to the internet, doing some internet talking with the console and Nintendo. So basically, right now, it's using the, the drive. Uh, there's the SSD. Um, it was blinking. It might have stopped. Uh, looks like no. It's, see, yeah, it's actually doing something. And then it turns. It still looks orange on the camera, but it's yellow now. But the drive was doing something. If you notice those little blinkings. Anyway, by the way, uh, I originally I was using a thumb drive. Before that, I was using a spinning drive. But I've been I've always had little corks with the Wii U when it came to using those particular types of storage devices. This one here is a SSD. So it's a 128 gig SSD drive. Or, no wait, it's a Samsung drive, so I think it's 120 gig, or whatever. You know, it's roughly 120, 128 gig SSD drive from Samsung uh, that I bought a cheap uh, USB 2.0 hard drive enclosure and using a USB Y cable uh, because for some reason the Wii U's uh, USB ports don't output enough power to power those devices so um, if you use one of those drives and just using just the regular type of uh, USB cable you might encounter an issue where the system will lock up give you an error code and basically tell you Hey, if you continue to experience this type of problem uh, Get yourself a Y cable and use that instead. So I finally did that and lo and behold It's actually been working fine No real issues. No hang-ups. No weird glitches or anything like that um, Honestly, I kind of wish I went this route from the beginning I would have had a lot less headaches with the Wii U. So uh, let's go ahead and turn this on. So yeah, it seems to boot up fine. Uh, let's let's load up a game real quick. Uh, so something I've been noticing now. Uh, after I started using this SSD drive for the Wii U is that I don't want to say it loads quicker It it seems to run more reliable uh, more, Much more reliable now, which is more important 
thing, quickness, because what's the point of loading stuff quickly if the system is just going to lock up on you? So that's something I've been noticing. Sorry, I don't have the TV on right now. I'm just strictly using the gamepad. But yeah, I mean, it seems like the games actually load. Actually, it, it pro I think it actually does load a little bit quicker. Um... Oh yeah, because why well, am I not getting sound on here? how long it takes to go back to the menu yeah okay hmm. all right let's see how long it takes to go back here that's actually not too bad um, I've noticed when I was using the thumb drive before that it would actually sometimes take a really long time and I've kind of known this but I didn't I wasn't really thinking when I was originally doing this with the Wii U is that those thumb drives only has a certain amount of read write cycles before the actual storage device itself the actual chips uh, goes bad they actually do have a limit on those things um, so by using an SSD you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get the the the, the fast read write cycles, and because that's what it's designed for, it's designed to last as long, if not longer, than a regular spinning drive. Why not use an SSD instead of just using a thumb drive? Uh, at least that's me. But um, uh, let's let's try another game. Do that one. Fast racing Neo. Yeah, I mean, it seems to uh, seems to load up. Uh, actually, just fine. Let's see how long it takes. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really notice any issues right now. Um, and that's actually fairly true when uh, when I actually started using the SSD on here for the last couple of days. Uh, you know, just playing different games, going in and out of the menus and everything like that. Uh, it, the system wasn't really hanging. I think I think what's going on, uh, when I was using those other drives, I don't know if it's like compatibility issues or there was just something wrong with those drives, but it seems like if, it's, if the Wii U's having trouble trying to communicate with those devices, the system tends to just wait and just wait. And then that's why every once in a while, if you're trying to go back to the Wii U menu, uh, it seems like it's taking a long time because it seems like the system is just waiting for the storage device to respond. And by using an SSD, you get the reliability of a traditional spinning drive, but you get the, you get the non-moving parts and the faster read-write times. So that way, there's no latencies or reliability issues going on between the connections. So it's more more instant. Now, of course, some people are going to be saying it's like, 
oh, using an SSD is a waste because we use only USB 2 versus USB 3, so it's not really take advantage of the extra speed of the SSD. Yes, that's true, but I've also noticed that I haven't been noticing any weird glitches or reliability issues when it comes to uh, reading the data off of those devices. So, in that way, I see this as an improvement. So, um, so yeah, um, in short, if you have a Wii U and you're thinking about using a external drive, uh, go ahead and use an SSD. That's my recommendation. So that's it. Like always, have a good one. Like this video, leave comments down below, share this video, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and like always, have a good one.